I have a Renair 85 tankless water heater that stopped working the other day. How long has this been going on with your Renai water heater? What have you tried so far? I followed the wiring diagram and checked voltage at different spots since the wall display was blank. I though it was a bad PC board. I had a replacement sent and I swapped it out and the wall switch is still dead. Is there a way to bypass the wall switch to see if that is what is bad? Have you replaced your Renai water heater before? If so, how long ago? No, the water heater is about 15 years old. How long has this been going on with your Renai water heater? What have you tried so far? It went dead four days ago. Is there anything else the HVAC tech should know before I connect you? Rest assured that they'll be able to help you. No. Hello, I'm Michael. The first can help you with your problem. Okay. What do you mean by wall switch? Is there a switch to turn off the unit before the water heater? I have a Renair 85 tankless. It stopped working a few days ago. When I went down to the unit, the remote wall switch was dead. Oh okay I understand. So follow the wall switch wire into the water heater to the PCB board there will be the wires for the 120V feed. You need to check with a multimeter for 120V. I used the manual and some online guides and checked for voltages in different spots and everything seemed to be pointing toward the PC board. So, I ordered a new PC board and replaced it, but still no lights on the remote. Check with the unit's power on for 120 back at this box inside the unit. Basically follow the power cord into the unit there's two legs where the power cord connects in to take a picture of it for me upload it here. In the box are there two terminals that say terminals for control? 123 VAC Check for volts DC switch your meter to DC at those terminals. 12 VDC Okay good. That means your controller is getting power it needs. The controller is fed 12 VDC. So if the controller is not illuminating replace the controller. That's all it can be. If you had no 12 volts it would have been the transformer. Can you get hot water without the controller? In my experience I've had both blow out at once. So don't be surprised if the computer board you replaced was really actually bad and the controller was bad. The computer board had burns on it which made me think it was the issue. Yeah probably it got hit with lightning or a power surge after a storm. Blew out the computer board and controller. Your controller is a deluxe remote controller. Customer Attachment July 15, 2021, 1 49 and 39 seconds a.m. It looks like the main controller not a secondary. I don't believe it can be bypassed. Okay, I'll get one ordered and cross my fingers. Thanks. It will fix your problem. No fingers needed to be crossed. If it was a basic thermostat I'd show you how to bypass it but you can risk blowing out your new board so we're not going to risk it. Thanks for using Just Answer have a great day. Thanks you too. Thanks. 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.